Hi there, in this video we are going to be taking a look at this ultimate speed battery and alternator tester. So let's uh, check a few specs and after that we will go into the box. Two clamps for connecting to the battery, uh, obviously, with short circuit protection, which is good. And it has a magnet to attach it to the car, which is good. 80 centimeters cable. And yep. It works for 6 and 12 volt car and motorcycle batteries and alternators, which is quite good actually. So let's get into this box. Some info on this label for 6 volt batteries and for 12 volt batteries, and the model number, obviously and my phone focuses on whatever it wants. We have the magnet on the back. Wires are quite thin because they don't need to be thicker, obviously. Nice clamps and really strong clamps and we can see the wire down there crimped in place. So the contact should be good. Again magnet. And here we have for the alternator over voltage, charging at maximum or charging OK. And this is fully charged, half and very low. And it tells you if it's for 6 or 12 volt battery right here uh, at the bottom and it has a right red dot in here, which is actually a switch. And we will see in the manual what it does. Weird weird way to signal a switch, just a red dot, honestly. I was just guessing that it's a switch in there, but you can see it is by how this is bending. Maybe it's, yeah, let's check the manual and see what it actually is and what it does. Haha, -ha, I was right. That little button is a switch to uh, go from 6 volt to 12 volt. In theory, it will uh, decide by itself if uh, your battery is 6 or 12 volt, but if a 12 volt battery is discharged at somewhere around here, 7 volts, it will test it as 6 volts. But in reality, you know it's a 12 volt, so you need to press that to make it go into 12 volt, volt mode. So, but again, it will tell you for sure that it's uh, fully discharged. But anyway, you can at least test your alternator. Anyway, so if you need to read some warnings in here. Basically, it's telling you don't do stupid stuff. Yep. <laughs> if you get a 12 volt battery detected as a 6 volt, uh, yeah, completely discharge or defective. Makes sense. Anyway, so we connect, uh, ew, this is for alternator testing, here, we first connect positive, then uh, negative, and you can put this thing with the magnet onto the car and see, I don't, you can hold it in your hand, whatever, or you put it with the magnet from the start, anyway, and you see what reading you are getting, <sighs> yeah, and you will get very low charge if uh, wait, it's if it's at 11.5 volts in 12 volt mode and in 6 volt if it's at 5.8 volt. Half charged if you are at 6.1 volt in 6 volt mode and if you are at uh, 12 volt in 12 volt mode and fully charged at 6.4 for a uh, 6 volt cell and 12.6 for a 12 volt cell. And uh, yeah, that's about that. And to test the alternator, you connect it, start the engine, switch on all consumer headlights, radio, heat it, uh, heat it rear window, uh, window, what's that, uh, rear screen, mm. okay, rear dress, I don't know how it's called, rev up to 2500 uh, RPM for a short time, and uh, yeah, you will get this, okay, maximum, whatever. Over voltage if the okay 
if you get to 15.5 volts yeah it's over voltage i know that <sighs> yeah and another info here which we don't care that much about so let's go connect this to the car okay let's test the battery on my father's octavia and actually let's peel this thing off first Ooh, one hand peel that didn't work out okay now we can see this thing better and what we need attach this here with the magnet Ooh. This is a strong magnet. Be careful not put it onto this because if you have any dust or something on it, you can scratch the paint. So put it somewhere where you don't care about the paint. And uh, yeah, connect. What did I say to connect first? Already forgot. Uh, yeah, it was the, ne uh, the negative and I'm connecting the positive. It was the positive that you need to connect first. Sorry if you cannot see because I'm trying to connect to this right here. Yeah, that seems good. Where's the negative? Fell down. Come on little guy. And connect it to whatever you can down there. Make sure it makes a good contact. And it's half charged. And it's a 12 volt. And it's somewhere between very low and half charged. Which, by knowing how much this car has been driven in the last few weeks, yep, <laughs> I fully believe this. But to make sure, I will also uh, put quickly the multimeter on it and see what we get. Okay, positive from the multimeter here. And let's connect the negative. And we get 12.3. And then we go back to the manual and see if uh, this makes any sense or not. To be somewhere between very low and half charged. Ooh, wait a second. I think something else is happening here. These are not flickering for me in real life. Only for you on video, the LEDs. I think it will light up the LEDs. Even for fully charged, all of them will probably light up. So my bet about that. Let me go and start the motor uh, and see if I can somehow by myself also uh, test the, the charging function. And with the engine on, hopefully you can hear me, charging function working as, and, uh, as suspected all of them are light up. So you will always have this one if it's uh, discharged, this and this is if it's half charged and this and this and this if it's fully charged these are uh, on the headlights obviously for testing this and let's see the voltage also yep okay so it's working let's go to my car and see if we have the same result ha huh. and after turning off the engine uh, it shows fully charged because the reality is actually it seems that this uh, battery is quite uh, charged as opposed to what I thought that it will be discharged it seems this car does not consume uh, too much in standby and yes look what we have after we just run the motor for a tiny bit so very good charging on this car I think much better than on, on mine Okay, so this confirms what this is saying, which is good. This battery is good and the charging is also good. Okay, we are at my car. Let's connect this right here and see what we get. And yes, the battery is fully charged as expected because I made another video recently where I showed, uh, I tested another product from Lidl from uh, Ultimate Speed which is a battery charger and I will link that video in the description of this one if you are interested and yeah it, it makes sense this is fully charged which is uh, perfect what can I say let's see if this uh, confirms actually uh, I need this one to somehow put it in there so I'll be back in a second okay that one is connected zero volts somehow maybe I can show both of them at the same time let's see 
12.44 volts. This is showing fully charged because it's closer to 12.6 than 12.12. 12. To show this, it needs to be at 12 volt. To show this, it needs to be at 12.6. Being at 12.44 means that it's uh, it's closer to this one, so it lights up this one, which is uh, as expected and normal behavior. But I just want to warn something about testing like this in a car. If I would go at this point and open my doors, the voltage on this battery, which is in the trunk for me, will drop because the car will start to consume. So let me try. Okay, so I opened my doors and lights went on in the car. Not sure if you can see them right in the middle there. And we are like this. So to test a modern car, let me show you the voltage. We are at 12.16. You need to lift the bonnet and leave it lifted for 5 minutes, 10 minutes. So the whole electronics of the car enters standby mode and you get a more accurate reading of the battery. You could go in the trunk, disconnect uh, the positive from the battery and test it like that with the positive disconnected, test directly the battery and then you get a full and real and clear reading, but I'm not going to do that. I know that I need to wait with the uh, door closed for about 5 to 10 minutes, everything will go off in the car and I will get the real reading which we saw before. So what we are seeing now, this is not the real reading because the car woke up when I uh, opened the doors. Now let me go turn the engine on and see if this shows good charging on my car also. And as you can see and hopefully you can hear me, we only see charging function OK. And I will explain from the inside of the car why we don't see maximum. Or actually I can do it from the outside. One moment. Let's read the voltage. This is the voltage that we are getting. And I'm also going to go inside the car in a moment to explain more in a bit more uh, a silent place. As you can see, we just went to... where is it? Where's my finger? We went to 14, 13.9 uh, and almost 14 volts. And in modern cars... modern. This is a 10-year A4B8, but modern with lots of electronics. That's what I'm, I mean. This voltage doesn't go directly to 14 point... Uh, I just shut it down, sorry about that, this is the shutdown button. Anyway, this doesn't go directly... come on, button. Doesn't go directly to 14.8 uh, or 14.7 like it did in all cars. This controls it electronically dep um, depending on the state of charge of the battery to make it uh, last longer and whatever, good, give it a nice charge uh, graph and yeah it's complicated trust me uh, I thought I have problems with charging I don't I can actually go to 14.8 I think I saw the max or 14.7 when the battery is charged a lot and I drive for two or three hours it actually goes to the max voltage but then it begins to drop as it doesn't put a charge anymore in the battery just uh, makes sure the battery remains at 100%. It's weird. I will put a few links in the description that uh, explain how uh, how batteries are charged and I will again link the, the charger video in the description. description. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. I explain more in there. It's not just going to the max and staying there, so this particular tester cannot account for the electronics in a, in a modern car. But it still uh, tells us that the charging function is OK, but it cannot tell you its maximum like it did in the Octavia. So, yeah, that's that. It's not its fault. Even if I rev it, the car, <laughs> this doesn't, uh, the voltage that we are seeing does not change at all, 100% at all. So, it, uh, the charge coming from the, from the alternator, come on camera, focus on my hand it's actually somehow modulated and uh, 
in depending of your uh, RPM focus it stays at the same voltage that it wants to so the electronics detect, dictates the voltage and current that put it's being put in the battery not just the dumb alternator so uh, yeah that's that a lot of talk hopefully you understood what I mean yeah we need to account for the electronics and actually by waiting inside the car until the voltage uh, got over 14 point uh, something we actually have charging function maximum so you need to take this into account when testing uh, modern-ish cars let's stop the engine and try to talk a bit better uh, I didn't get to film it until I left the car but you can hear the relays clicking inside of this thing as systems go into uh, standby after I shut it off anyway so it shows fully charged at the moment after we run the motor for a bit and in voltage terms we got to 12.56 yeah so about this product it's really good i don't have 6 volts battery to test so sorry about that but for 12 volt it's working as intended but you need to understand if you are testing a newer car with lots of electronics how to take that into account if you are directly testing a battery then it's extremely simple anyway this is working and i can trust it uh, it's it does what it says it does and it's re reliable in my opinion so yeah that's about it thank you for watching hope this video helps you in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye